University of Michigan physical sexual assault lawyer, Dr. Robert Anderson lawsuits. In recent years, the University of Michigan has been confronted with a dark chapter in its history. Allegations of sexual abuse against former University Health Service physician, Dr. Robert E. Anderson have surfaced, leaving survivors traumatized and searching for justice. Anderson, who served as a top position for football teams under coaches Bo Schembachler and Lloyd Carr, faces numerous allegations of sexual abuse and unneeded medical exams. The Washtenaw County Prosecutor's Office is currently reviewing the cases, with many victims having come forward with similar claims. Amidst this scandal, victims are left wondering about their legal options. That's where experienced legal representation comes in. Rosenfeld Injury Lawyers, renowned for representing plaintiffs in sexual abuse lawsuits, is at the forefront of holding institutions accountable. Who can file a sexual abuse claim against UM? If you or a loved one was abused by Dr. Robert E. Anderson, it's crucial to understand who can file a sexual abuse claim against the University of Michigan. Any person who suffered abuse while Anderson was employed at the University of Michigan can file a settlement claim. If the university was aware of the allegations and failed to take appropriate actions to protect students and patients, they can be held accountable. Shockingly, documents reveal the university officials allegedly knew about Anderson's misconduct over four decades ago, spanning from 1968 to 2003. Despite this knowledge, he continued to practice, raising questions about the institution's responsibility. How do I file a sexual abuse lawsuit against UM? Filing a lawsuit against the University of Michigan is not just about monetary compensation. It's about accountability for years of abuse. A settlement can provide some compensation for the physical and emotional harm suffered and fund necessary counseling and therapy for victims. To file a claim, victims need to establish that treatment was performed by Dr. Anderson and that sexual abuse occurred under the pretense of a medical exam. Our team at Rosenfeld Injury Lawyers is here to help victims navigate the legal process. What is the compensation for a Dr. Anderson sex abuse claim? Due to the severe nature of sexual abuse claims, the damages can be significant. Non-economic damages, such as emotional distress and PTSD, along with economic damages like therapy costs and loss of earning capacity can be sought. Working with a dedicated attorney ensures victims receive the compensation they deserve for the extensive losses suffered due to Dr. Anderson's actions. As a patient or parent, one expects medical professionals to provide care and respect. Unfortunately, cases of sexual abuse by doctors have lasting impacts on physical, emotional, and financial well-being. The University of Michigan is reckoning with the abuse committed by Dr. Anderson. The university has allocated over $500 million to compensate victims. Survivors have a voice, and legal action is a crucial step towards accountability. If you or someone you know has been a victim, seeking legal help is the first step towards justice. Reach out to Rosenfeld Injury Lawyers to discuss your case and explore the legal avenues available to you. Let's work together to ensure that those responsible for the pain and suffering are held accountable.